I'm Nikki Murray, and I'm a yoga instructor in San Diego, California. And I discovered yoga online through videos such as this. And I stayed dedicated to my practice through this forum for three years, just watching online and practicing in my own space. And the reason I stayed so dedicated is I noticed immediately after my practice that I felt different than I did with other forms of exercise, for example, stretching or cardio. And it wasn't until years later that I discovered what this was exactly. And it's because yoga affects your entire being, your physiology, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. And you don't need to practice for more than 10 minutes a day to have this impact on your body and your being. So that's what this video is created for, is to introduce some of you to yoga. And hopefully, as you watch this, you will notice those effects as well, just staying present with the breath and being mindful. Welcome to Instant Yoga. Start seated, either cross-legged or sitting on your shins. Place your palms on your knees, face up if you're feeling energetic and open today, or palms face down on the knees if you're feeling lethargic and perhaps want to conserve energy. Now, focus on rooting your tailbone down, connecting with your mat, and stacking one vertebrae on top of the other to create a long spine. Crown is held high, neck long. Here, close your eyes and bring awareness to your breath. Let's take two cleansing breaths, inhaling from the deepest part of your belly through the nose and exhaling out the mouth with force, with your exhales releasing stale breath, tension, and stress. Now, sealing your lips, moving into yogi breathing. With this, deep inhales through the nose and exhales out the nose. When you exhale, constricting the back of your throat. This will create internal heat and calm the mind. If you ever feel yourself becoming stressed or anxious during your work hours, this breath will calm you and keep you present. Staying here with eyes closed, take three deep breaths. Inhales bring energy from the base of the spine up to the crown of the head and exhale, send breath back down the other direction, keeping you grounded and present. Inhales, filling you up, and exhales, focusing on awareness. One more round of breaths. From here, opening the eyes and using your breath to inhale both arms overhead. Tailbone stays rooted, shoulders pressed down, and gaze held high. Take another inhale, exhale, right fingertips down. Reach left fingertips over to the right. It's important to keep both sit bones rooted down. Extend left side body all the way from the hip through the fingertips. One more round of breaths here. Inhale both arms high. Once again, gaze is high. Exhale other side. Left arm down, energy reaching through right fingertips, keeping sit bones down. One more round of breaths here. Inhale fingertips back up, and here, planting palms in front of you, rolling over the knees to tabletop posture. Wrists stacked directly under the shoulders, and knees directly underneath hips, moving through some cat-cows to create flexibility in the spine. Inhale to cow, dropping the belly, creating a valley with the spine. Exhale to chin is lifted as well as the tailbone. Now exhale to cat, engaging the abdomen, curving the spine. Chin is tucked to chest, tailbone tucked. Moving through cat-cows using the breath. Inhale to cow, exhale deeply to cat, inhale to cow, exhale to cat. Inhale to a neutral tabletop posture, here tucking the toes under, 
downward facing dog. Down dog is a very active posture, creating a nice inverted V shape with the body. In your down dog, focus on feel, hip width distance apart, and keeping the spine lengthened. It is much more important to keep the spine long and extended than it is to get your heels pressed down to the mat. The intention can be to one day get them there, but avoid judgment and let your down dog happen naturally. Take an assessment of the body. If you have tight hamstrings or calves, perhaps pedaling out the feet. If tension in the neck, shaking the head yes and no. Perhaps lifting to the balls of your feet and bending the knees to hover over the earth, stretching out the toes. Taking two more deep yogi breaths, inhales filling up the back of the heart, exhales pressing heart up and through the legs. One more round of breaths here. Gaze forward in between the hands and with your exhale walk the feet directly behind the wrists. Knees can be slightly bent here. Moving into ragdoll posture, head hangs heavy and grabbing opposite elbows with the palms. Here, let gravity do the work. Crown of the head heavy toward the earth and spine lengthened and relaxed. Maybe rocking side to side like a pendulum if that serves your spine today. With your exhales, release any tension from the spine. Ragdoll is also an inversion in yoga. Inversions are any posture where the head is below the heart. These postures keep the mind sharp and you looking and feeling vital. Releasing fingertips to the mat, heel toe the feet together. Generously bending the knees into the heart and rolling up slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Once you've arrived, hands at heart center, standing at attention. Close the eyes and ignite the body. All four corners of the feet rooted into the earth, lifting up through the inner thighs, tailbone tucked, now engaging the core muscles, belly button to spine, shoulders pressed down and head held high, crown reaching to the sky. Right here, setting your intention for your day, the intention is your own and can be anything. A positive phrase, an inspiration, dedication to someone or something, or something you wish to manifest. Carry this theme with you through your work hours and after. Opening the eyes, palms releasing by your side, moving to Sun Salutation A. Inhale Tadasana Mountain Pose. Legs strongly rooted, long side bodies. Shoulders pressed down, gaze is held high in between the fingertips. Take another breath all the way from the tips of the toes to the crown and exhale forward fold. Hands move through heart center, flat back. Knees can be bent here slightly. Inhale halfway lift, flat back, extending neck forward. Exhale, plant palms and step back to plank posture. From here, moving to chaturanga or high to low plank. With full chaturanga elbows, skim sides of rib cage, core engaged, legs straight back. For a nice modification, coming to bent knees and slowly lowering to low plank that way. Elbows stay in. So, exhale chaturanga, inhale to upward facing dog. With up dog, palms are pressed down under shoulders and just tops of feet are pressed into the mat. A modification for this is cobra, where you lower all the way to the belly and you lift just your heart center off the mat, engaging lower back, feet together and pressed into the mat. From here, exhale to downward facing dog. Now, we will flow through our Sun A series with one breath to one movement. Make sure you are using your breath for each movement, going at your pace, honoring your body and practice. Let's begin. Inhale, 
Exhale, gaze is forward between the hands. Step to the top of your mat, big toes to touch. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, hands move through heart center, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant palms to plank posture. Inhale, first to your core. Exhale, Chaturanga. Option to come to your knees. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time. Inhale first. Exhale, step to the top of the mat. Big toes to touch. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, hands move through heart center, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant palms to plank posture. Inhale first to your core. Exhale, Chaturanga, option to come to the knees. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take three long, deep breaths here. Hopefully, your breath stayed calm and rhythmic through all the movements and transitions. The breath is the most important part of your asana practice. After third exhale, gaze forward, step to the top of the mat, bending knees into heart center and gently rolling up one vertebrae at a time. bringing hands to heart center, feeling powerfully at peace and remembering your intention, the theme of your day. Hands in prayer come to third eye between the eyebrows. Namaste. Peace and love.